hey guys welcome to my youtube channel if you haven't subscribed please do so by clicking the red button today's topic is about uh, lipa and pesa authentication uh, with a python script so to achieve this we have a set uh, of tools uh, that we need first we need to create an, a developer account uh, on Safaricom uh, Developer uh, API platform. So uh, visit developer.safaricom.co.ke uh, to create an account. So once you create an account, we need to download a Python editor uh, that we can use uh, to, down, uh, to edit our script. So we can use either PyCharm or Notepad in this uh, particular uh, tutorial. So once you have the two uh, requirements, you'll be good to go. Make sure that you have uh, your PyCharm uh, installed on your computer uh, so that you can uh, start creating scripts. So I've created a new project uh, that is in this folder. So what I'm going to do is to add a new folder here and uh, name it uh, M-Pesa. Then once I've done that, I'll just uh, create a new script. I'll call it login. So make sure that you can create such a script. So this is just uh, a Python uh, script. So this is the, the script that we're going to execute to allow us to connect uh, to M-Pesa uh, authentication endpoint so that we can get a token. And then that token is what you use uh, for any subsequent uh, request uh, through uh, the various uh, endpoints that uh, the API provides. So, so let's get started. So the first thing is to import uh, a request module. So request module. So I'm just going to do a comment here. We import requests module. Uh, to allow us uh, send data or send requests. So import, so just type import, uh, then requests. Should have a space there. Import requests. Okay, so import requests, uh, which is the module uh, that has the data. Uh, that or that has the functions that we want uh, to use then uh, we need to import uh, HTTP uh, basic okay here we have uh, oh, it just says unused so then uh, we need to import uh, HTTP uh, basic auth authentication module or function to allow us authenticate using http so they say from request uh, a dot authentication import http basic authentication okay like that eh? so once you have that uh, go to the next part uh, what you need we need to convert the data uh, into a JSON object so JSON module so import JSON so like that okay so now uh, once you have that so the next step is create a function so we can add a long comment so we where uh, we create a function to allow us send information or send data to our safari com and pesa endpoint okay so define, uh, let's call it uh, authenticate, 
authenticate. Okay, so it's just a simple function. Authenticate. Then uh, we, there are some 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 uh, things that uh, we should have. First, to make sure that uh, we have the key. Remember the key from uh, the key from uh, the app that we created. Uh, we created on uh, developer dot safaricom dot co dot ke endpoint. Ah uh, no, uh, it's not endpoint portal. Yeah. Okay. So the key. So we give and we assign a new variable, and uh, the key I have it on my side. So I have my key here. Okay. So remember, this is just a test key. Huh? A test key. Uh, to use on the sandbox. Okay. Then you need a secret. Again, this is just a test secret that is issued when you create an app. Okay. And then the uh, API URL endpoint for authentication. So this is the endpoint that we, uh, we use this endpoint. We use this to allow us authenticate ourselves eh? using the key and the secret. So API, I uh, can call it sandbox because it's a test URL. Again, I have this. So all the, these these three items, uh, you get them from uh, the Mpesa uh, portal. So remember that uh, from our previous uh, videos, I I, I had shown you how you can get uh, the key, the secret, and the uh, the sandbox URL. You can check uh, if you haven't checked the previous videos, so that you see how you can get uh, this information because it's it's important. Okay. So once we have that, so let's just make these comments more readable. Uh, yeah, we remove this here, put it here. Test key, and then here we see this is, uh, it's always good to make comments, test secret, so that uh, you don't forget uh, what you are trying to do. Authenticate, uh, authenticate. Authenticate, yes. All right, so yeah, we are good to go. Uh, so let's now do uh send uh, do a get request, get request. Okay, so get request is where we're going to uh, send uh, a request to the uh, this endpoint uh, with our key and our secret eh? so so just assign a new variable here this is just a response and call it uh mpesa response okay mpesa response so we call requests then dot uh, get so url so api api sandbox url and then uh we need to do authenticate out uh, is equals to you want to use HTTP basic uh, where we have uh, our key and uh, a secret okay so we want to send this uh, to the endpoint It's talking about white space, so it's always good to put that. Okay. Oh, sorry. Like that, and then like that, so that you can remove these warnings. Eh? So once you have that, 
so this one sends uh, the request to this particular endpoint and then it passes the key under secret okay so once you do that uh, what you usually get uh, from uh, mpesa is uh, a string response so here we can just say a string response so we get the data so mpesa response dot text so we just we're just going to read a text here okay so we have a variable we have a variable here uh this this is the response from mpesa and this is the text that we retrieve eh? so retrieve okay, text okay message so once you do that uh, once uh, we have our our response from mpesa uh now we can convert this uh to convert this to js to a dictionary uh using our json uh module so here what we do is uh we just say dictionary response so we just use json dot uh, loads it's loads yeah and then we pass the string so this is a string okay so this is a string response uh that we have and then uh our function now we can return uh, uh, we can return the data so we're not going to return the, the the dictionary so what you're going to get is is a key so we will return uh, a return dictionary and then there's a key uh, for the access token Okay. So what I've done here is just get key for access token. Okay. So now our function is good. We are good. So we can test this function. So we just create uh, a main uh, function or main entry. Uh, point uh, for our script so if mm, yeah if name equal equal to name so we just print a me uh, print a message here uh, authentication authentication token from safaricom okay we assign it uh, we just format the string and then then we say authenticate okay and then uh, once we don't get we can just print the end uh, and like that so once you print that so we can have there's a warning here so let's see what the issue is here uh, the issue is what uh, okay no problem i think uh, it's okay so it's just about spaces uh, so it's not a big problem here yeah so i think uh, that's a, that's it for the function so you can see 
uh, let's test this so then then we can have a look at uh, a brief of what we have just created so open the terminal here so the good thing with PyCharm is that you can execute your script within PyCharm. You don't have to navigate outside PyCharm. So yeah, so once you click on Terminal, uh, you can see that uh, you can list and see that you have some folders there. So you can navigate to your folder. Then this inside the folder, we have the login.php file. So we can authenticate this using Python 3 login.php okay so let me just uh, expand this so that you can see what happens yeah we hope everything is gonna be okay yes there we are we have our token okay this is the token so this is the most important thing uh, that you need to be able to access the different endpoints on M-Pesa, okay? So you've seen the way I've authenticated it, uh, I've executed the script. So you can try again, you get a uh, different uh, token, okay? And uh, it doesn't expire, okay? Uh, it can be used. Uh, for subsequent uh, requests. So I can close this again so that we review what you have done. So as you can see, the first thing is we imported uh, requests and then from request module, we have the HTTP basic authentication module that, you're going to, that we are using for authentication. And then the JSON module to allow us convert our string to JSON. Then we create a function here and the, the function has, uh, uh, we name it uh, authenticate. Uh, it takes no parameters. So then uh, we have our test keys uh, from, remember these test keys, uh, you get it from uh, developer.safaricom.co.ke uh, portal, where you create an app, you get the key and the set return. Okay, uh, so then you have the, the sandbox URL for authentication okay so this is the endpoint that authenticates you and then from there we can do a get request so where we pass the sandbox url and then uh, we pass the authentication method with the key and the secret we get a response from mpesa then we convert the string to json and that converts that, uh, that converts it to a dictionary and then from the dictionary keys, we get the access token. And here we just call our function, okay? Inside the main uh, our function, all right? Yeah, so make sure that uh, you can do this. You can test your script and make sure that it can e execute, okay? Yeah. So we are good. So the next uh, tutorial that you're going to have is uh, how now with this token that we have received, how we can use the different uh, endpoints uh, like uh, for sending SDK push. And then uh, we're also going to look at how uh, we can see our payment status uh, from a client uh, that we have sent SDK push. So remember, without the uh, the token, uh, you can't access uh, the other endpoints eh, on the API. Yeah. All right, All right, guys. So thank you uh, for watching, and uh, please remember to subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, uh, just leave it on the comment section, and wait uh, for the next uh, video that I'm going to release soon. Thank you, guys. See you next time.